Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to get information about the hard drives installed on your computer. You know, things like the GUID, ID, signature, uh, volume number, serial number, that kind of thing. So I'm going to show you a couple ways, so command line and then through the GUI. So let's start with the command line. So first we need to run an administrative command prompt here. And now we're going to use the disk part command. So I have some commands. This is what, this is what we're going to go through. I'll put this in the description. So run disk part first to start to get it in that mode. Okay, so now we want to do list disk. So this shows the five drives on this computer here and their sizes and if they're GPT or MBR. So if it doesn't say GPT, that means it's MBR. And so now we could select a disk. So select disk with the number. So let's do select disk zero, that's the C drive. So now that's the selected disk. So we could get the ID for that disk by running this command right there. And that's kind of all it gives you, but if you want a little more information, we could do this detail disk. Let me make this full screen here. So it's the same thing with the disk ID, the type, the status, the path, target, LUN information, uh, read-only state, if it's a boot disk or not. Yes, it is. If it has a page file, hibernation file, crash dump information. And then here's the three partitions or volumes on this one particular disk right there. And so let's do go back to select disk again. Let's do disk four this time. And now we'll run that same detailed disk. And you can see this one has no volumes, but you still get the same information type of thing. So let's do, uh, let's try disk. Let's try disk one here. And then the detailed disk. And you can see this one has one volume and the size. And then you can see the type of that it is. Read only, it's not bootable because it's not the Windows drive, no page file on it, and so on. So that's the uh, command prompt way. So the, now for the uh, GUI way, we're going to use a program called Niobe Partition Editor. This is the free edition. I'll put a link in the description. So we've used this before for doing all kinds of things like copying volumes, rearranging partitions, and so on. So it kind of looks like uh, the disk management tool that comes with Windows, except you could do more with it. So here's our, let me just shrink this up a little bit here. So here's our one, two, three, four, or zero, one, two, three, four, or five disks. So here's our C drive here with the volumes. Volumes, you can see this disk four here. It's unallocated, so there's just the disk by itself. So, going back to the C drive, you could right-click on the drive itself, go to Properties, and you'll get something like the uh, serial number. This is just a virtual machine, so that's using the VMware serial number here. Uh, the status, the signature, sectors, capacity, you know, cylinders, sectors per track, all that good stuff. And then you could also right-click on a volume and get GUID ID for the volume. You can see it's a boot volume. It's it's volume three, uh, partition type, and more sector information. So volume three, one, two, three. And then like this one here, volume two, not formatted. And then we have this unallocated space at the end. If we do that, we just get some basic information because there's not much to it. And then one thing you'll notice too, okay, so we have the MBR and the GPT, which we saw in the disk part. So if we, if you right click on a MBR disk on the disk itself, You'll see it has this small signature here compared to a GPT it has the larger signature there. And then you also notice, let's go back to the MBR properties, this number here, 32C. And then if you go to this volume here, it starts with 32C there. And then going back down to this, you know, unallocated space again, you have properties. Just going to show you the basics there. But if we do the disk properties itself, we get the signature and all the other good stuff. So you can get various information depending on if you're clicking on a, or viewing the properties for the disk or for the volume. And so let's go back down here one more time. You can see that's volume eight. So this should be volume seven and so on, going all the way back up to volume one. 
So, like I said, pretty useful information if you need to get this uh, stuff for whatever reason. So give this program a shot. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description. You can download it, install it, and then you can play with some of the other tools that it has. And you can also try the GUI method and see what works best for you. All right. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.